morning off right with fluffy pancakes, crispy bacon, breakfast sausage, eggs, and maple syrup, all in one delicious bite. It's called pancake lasagna. On Eat the Trend, we find the latest food crazes, the hottest hybrids, and the most amazing culinary creations and show you how to recreate them at home. Hey, I'm here with Chef Eric Greenspan, the creator of this fantastic concoction. See, I like to think of this as starting your day off wrong, <laughs> but for all of the right reasons. Okay. Just a little caveat to throw in there. All right. How did the pancake lasagna come into play? My friend Maddie used to have all the guys over for, uh, for football. And so every Sunday, I would come up with some sort of crazy, gut-wrenching attack <laughs> of a breakfast. What's the first thing that we need to do? You know, the key to a good pancake lasagna is the maple bechamel sauce. It's sort of the glue that kind of binds everything together. You can kind of think of it, if this is a traditional lasagna, it's like the tomato sauce. Okay. Now, uh, it's basically a bechamel, which typically starts with a roux, mm -hmm. which, or, or gravy, if you will. Uh, and it usually starts with butter, but I, being sinful, like to start with bacon fat. Oh, yes! <laughs> um, so I take the bacon fat, I melt it down on, on, on high heat, just to get it nice and viscous. And you might ask, who's got bacon fat lying around? You should. Uh, next, once the bacon fat is, is, is nice and melted, then I take flour and I add that flour to it to make the traditional, what the French traditionally call a roux. And you can see that I'm just gonna keep adding that to it almost forms like a paste. Okay, then what, chef? Once you've got said paste, I take the maple syrup. At the end of the day, the pancake lasagna is super rich and super fatty and a lot of flavors going on. So you really wanna add quite a bit of maple syrup because that is gonna really make sure that that flavor comes shining through. And you're gonna because, get it in every single bite. Well, yeah, I mean, the idea is that you've got every bite, you've got sweet, you've got salty. So it's the co perfect combination of savory and sweet together. And frankly, the only sweet coming into the party is the maple syrup. Oh. So you gotta make sure you bring enough of it. So I, I, I've got the roux incorporated into the maple syrup. And then from there, I'm gonna add cream. Um, you could add milk. Okay. But I mean, Cream makes it richer and more yeah, delicious. I mean, it's like, I, I often say, why add milk when you can add cream? <laughs> why not? I'm just gonna put that in. I just wanna drink this in a bottle. And you could. <laughs> now, all you gotta do is let it sit and bring it to a boil. And as it comes to a boil, what happens is the flour and the fat dissolve into the liquid and it thickens it. Okay, more and like a it, gravy. And then it becomes the consistency of a gravy. Great. Or a bechamel. So you see that? You just keep stirring and stirring and stirring. And look at that, look what you get. Wow. Look at that. Okay, I can't help myself. We have to do a little dippity dip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Oh, cheers. Cheers, my dear. Mmm, so good. Yeah, that's good. I would serve that for brunch. <laughs> yeah, you could. As an appetizer for the pancake lasagna. But wait, there's more. Oh yeah? Eggs. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna make the eggs, and I understand that you have a really top secret special way of making the perfect fluffy eggs. This is the third rendition of eggs for the pancake lasagna. Well, I think we have finally perfected the correct egg method for the perfect lasagna. So why don't you crack some eggs up in here, and I'm gonna whisk, and I'm gonna whisk it while it cooks. How many eggs are we gonna do, Chef? Yeah, do them all. Okay. So I get a little bit heavy on the salt, because the more fat that you put into it, the more salt you're gonna need to kind of cut through that fat to be able to taste everything. Scramble, 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 mix, mix, mix. And it doesn't really matter if it gets lumpy like this, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because we bring about the beauty and power of the Vita Prep. Oh my gosh, we're putting scrambled eggs into a blender. Yes, so what it's gonna do is it's gonna be perfectly smooth, so I can spread it through the lasagna. We'll add a little bit of cream. And a little blend blend. Action. And I always kind of slowly build in intensity. And that way you add the least amount of cream necessary. And wow. Then, and then look, look what you get. It's like velvety. Wow. And smooth. I like that. Is that not like the best texture you've ever done have? That's what that I'm talking about. That tastes so good. Okay, chef, this looks fantastic. Show me how it's all assembled. So we have all the accoutrements. I'm not just gonna show you. You are going to show me. All right. Okay, now, you ever made lasagna before? Yes. What goes down first, usually? 
sauce. Sauce, bingo. So let's throw in a little bit of bechamel, just enough to kind of cover the bottom. Ooh. And don't worry about making a mess. This whole darn thing is a mess. Okay. And that's going to be so when you cut into it, at the end, it comes off and releases from the pan a lot easier. Okay. What I've done is I've taken the pancakes and I've cut around the round edges to make squares of pancake. So it's like a pasta sheet. Exactly. Now yeah. you're using buttermilk pancakes. Isn't that cute? Right? Yeah. You're going to need little pieces to fill in the blanks. So I take some of these smaller ones and I just kind of break them up. Boom. All right, cool. So that's layer one. Next is more bechamel. Because keep in mind, the bechamel is the glue that keeps the lasagna together. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Now, this was on Food Network's The Best Thing I Ever Made. It was made. featured on The Best Thing I Ever Made. And now it'll be the best thing you've ever made, too, so you can take my job from me. And the best thing I've ever ate, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. So once that's all spread out, okay. uh, the next layer is going to be the sausage. Mm. Now, how did you make this sausage? This is basically just breakfast link sausage and that I then chopped up in, in, a, in a food processor. Throw it in some uh, some uh, sage in there as well, and then just spread it around and make sure that it's even. And yeah, there you go. Next, eggs. Yes. Hello. Good. I'll slap it in. And I will slather it around. There we go. Wow, this stuff is thick. Okay. See that? Next step, cheese. Oh, cheese. Now, what else could you put in the pancake lasagna? You can put all sorts of stuff. You can put fried chicken pieces in there. That's always fun. Uh, jalapenos if you want to spice it up. Once you have the basics of pancake lasagna down, the world is your oyster. I love that. All right, bacon next? Uh, next up, pancakes again. Man, I'm ready for that bacon. The bacon's all right. coming. Bacon's coming. Pancakes. How long does this casserole even last you once you make it? Uh, about three minutes. <laughs> It depends on how hungry everybody is, obviously. The good thing is about a pancake lasagna is that it, it will last. So you can kind of you can make this and keep it for about three days. Oh wow. Okay. okay. Next we're gonna do bechamel again. What I love about this recipe is you can make it ahead of time huh? and then you're not, you know, you have it ready for your it's guests. It's actually better to make it ahead of time because once you pull it out of the oven and let it cool, it'll slice up better. And then I heat it up pre-sliced. And then the old scoop and slather again. Now what's next? The bacon. Yay! Okay. Uh, I always lay it out evenly. If you've got nice long strips, that's cool. For me, the less uncovered with bacon that you can get, the better off you are. That makes sense, because therefore you are using as copious an amount of bacon as possible. And now, take the rest of the cheese and sprinkle it on top. And then we're gonna bake this? Bake it in the oven, and you really only gotta bake it in the oven for like 10 minutes, mm -hmm. just to get that cheese melted on top and let everything set, because everything's already cooked that's inside it. <laughs> cheese gets all melty, and then you cool it down, and that's key, because you really want to slice your pancake lasagna cold. Watch me roll. Oh. And the world will thank you for it. Okay, I'm ready for a slice already. All right, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. All right, ready? Yes. Oh my gosh, there it is. How heavy is this? Whoa, <laughs> can I try it? I mean, we should probably heat it up. I, I can't wait to heat it up. Then eat it cold. It's probably just as good cold. Mmm, when it hits your lips, that is so good. Oh, I like it. It makes you want to dance. It makes you want to dance. Oh my gosh, the bacon, the maple, mm -hmm. the breakfast sausage. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You don't need to eat this warm. You can just leave it out all day and just graze. Yeah. I could eat this whole thing with a fork. I challenge you to eat this whole thing with a I fork. I will accept that <laughs> challenge. Chef, thank you so much for teaching us how to make the pancake my pleasure, lasagna. My pleasure. Hold me. And thank you for watching. I'm Brandy, and we'll see you next time on Eat the Trend.